Australia is one of the fastest growing countries in the developed world. The number of people living here is projected to increase by roughly two-thirds in the next 40 years. And much of the growth will happen in its biggest cities, Sydney and Melbourne. The population boom has forced state governments to invest heavily in new roads, railways and airports, setting off a flurry of building activity. Australia now spends more public money on new transport infrastructure than any other major OECD country. The country's biggest transport infrastructure project, Sydney Metro, costing around 15 billion dollars. It's a new fast train line that will run from Sydney's outer suburbs through the heart of the city via 31 new stations and a network of tunnels. It's funded entirely with public money. Project managers say they've learned lessons from similar projects around the world, such as one in London called Crossrail. Which is essentially building a new railway from the eastern side of London over to the western side of London right through the heart uh, of the city and we looked at it and went wow how similar is that to what we're trying to do here in Sydney and lots of learnings for us. But critics say that Australian project managers are not learning enough. They say urban planners should copy an innovative funding model used by London called value capture. The idea is that those who benefit from new infrastructure should also help pay for it, such as property developers and businesses near the new line. The Australian government is considering whether it should adopt the value capture model, though discussions may not produce a result before the first passengers can board Sydney Metro trains in 2019.